Hello YouTube, I am here with Miss Zara's second grade class. We're going to finally do our long-awaited Naruto video. Um, for those of you that are fans, I'm sure you could find a very realistic anime version already. This is a very easy cartoon ver version of Naruto for all ages. So I want you to see the top of the page so that you know where to start. Because we're going to start with his hair, but we're going to start at the bottom of his hair. So we want to leave room for the top of his hair. So right here, what I'm going to do is do two points like this. And this will be a little goofy at first, but it'll make sense when we are done. Okay, next I'm going to connect these with a line and this is actually going to be the top of his headband. Okay, so then what I can do is on this side, I'm going to come down, I'm going to curve over slightly and come back up. Okay, this is going to be his headband and this is two pieces of hair that are over the headband. It'll all make sense when we're done. For the kids here in my class, I may be going a little bit fast, but that's because as soon as we're done, I'll post it, and then you can rewatch it. For you guys at home, when this is finally posted, you'll be able to pause, rewind, do everything else. So now we're just going to do the top part of his hair. Pretty simple. It's a bunch of spikes, basically. So I'm going to make a bunch of spikes all the way around, and there's no exact right amount like that for the top of his hair. That's probably the part where I see people mess up the most is getting the hair right. Because the rest is gonna be very cartoon right, and very simple. We will come back to the emblem that's on his headband. For now, let's do the head. So we're just gonna do a big half circle here. We're going to add right out of the headband, basically, we're going to add two half heart shapes for ears. Like that. I want him to be angry looking. So I'm going to have his eyebrows coming down out of his headband. So there's one, they're basically just skinny rectangles. One coming down this side, one coming down this side. And his eyes can come right off of that. Now again, I know there's some people in my room drawing live, and I'm probably going a little bit fast for them. But once we get it posted, everybody will be able to pause it. So you can see my eyes are my typical eyes. They're just ovals. And I like to leave a little bit of white space in there for a little highlight in the eye. OK? My nose is just going to be a simple little bump. And like I said, I want him angry. So the mouth is going to be angled. So watch. It's going to come up this way. It's kind of like a crooked triangle here like this. But you want to make sure that if you do the teeth, the teeth go straight across. And you can always see more teeth on the bottom than the top when you do that, like he's growling or grinning. And we can't forget these three lines he has on his face. Now, I do not know much about Naruto. I'm just trying to make a very simple, cartoony version for the people at home. Let's tackle this emblem on his head, on his headband, before we do his body. So we're going to just draw a rectangle on here that has three dots on either side. And I do not know what this emblem on the inside means. I'm sure some Naruto fans do. But this is kind of the basic shape of it. Like that. All right, there's our head. I'm going to slide up so we can try the body. So I'm going to keep this as easy as possible. So we're going to start with two curved lines down and a straight line across the bottom. We're going to turn this into his jacket. So we're going to do that by drawing another curve underneath, a straight line down the middle, some lines on the collar, and two pockets 
on the side. Okay, so there's the middle part of his jacket. We'll do the arms last. So the legs, two curves down, a little upside down letter V in the middle. And connect these two, so he has two separate legs. And on this leg, I noticed some sort of a strap and a pouch on the side. Is that your pastor? <laughs> For the feet, I'm just going to come straight down on this side and curved on this side and go across. And I'm going to do that on both. And then on the version that I saw, I could actually see his toes. So I'm, they're like sandals. So I'm going to draw a curve here. And then we're just going to draw a couple of bumps to represent his toes there. All right, now all we got is the arms. So my arms are going to be coming out to the side with a closed fist. So the arms are easy. You're going to draw, draw two lines and a curve like this on both sides. And for those of you that don't know how to do a fist, it's pretty easy. When you make a fist, your, your, your thumb is in. So we're going to do a sideways oval for the thumb. And then we're going to make one, two, three, four ovals for the fingers. That's it. So on this side, sideways oval. One, two, three, four. And now our Naruto has a fist. So there he is. There is our mini version of Naruto. I do not have a colored version for you, so I will try to color one of these um, right now, and maybe I'll at least have it posted as the thumbnail for this video. So that's it. Good luck. Have fun. Um, Mrs. Zara's class, if you would like to say goodbye, you can now say goodbye to YouTube. Bye, YouTube. All right, guys. See you later.